Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 25th, okay? So right around the 25th. What do we have for a message today? What do we have for right around? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. I did another live on Empress TV. If you want to check it out, it's pretty heated. It's up to you. So what do we have for a message today? Six of Wands. Six of Wands, a card of victory, right? Success. Uh, victory after sorrow. Uh, there's been some sort of battle. There's been some sort of, it's like the war is over, right? The war is over. The competition is over. This is a win. It is a yes answer. There's some sort of public recognition here as well. Maybe some public admiration. Um, yes. This is yes, you win, you win. So I'm not sure if somebody's winning something. This is like a winner, okay? Winner, winner, winner. So this is a win of some sort. The battle is over. Ace of Swords. Now, the Six of Wands is a warrior, right? This is a warrior. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. But this is somebody who has been dealing with some sort of battle, okay? They've been in some sort of competition or in some sort of fight. But the, the battle is over. The fight is over. The competition is over. It's time to relax and be recognized and there is going to be recognition this person is going to be getting some sort of recognition uh, ace of swords is the truth it's it's an it's information so there could be some it's some communication that is coming or some information that is coming I mean, the Six of Wands is, is a very strong, confident individual that is like taking the power because the Ace of Swords is the power. It's the it is it's the it's a power. It's it's the sort of truth and it's the sort of power. So I feel like we have somebody here that is taking some sort of power. They're taking taking the power. They're taking the power. Or they're something like that. Aces are new beginnings as well. So we do have a new beginning here. The, the battle is over. This is yes, 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 yes. So something about yes. Judgment. Now judgment is a life-changing decision. So somebody is making a life-changing decision. It is the right decision. These are all very positive. It's very positive. It's it's. It's doing the right thing, making a judgment call. We definitely have somebody here that is making a judgment call. They're going to be there's some sort of truth that is coming out. Somebody's going to be speaking some the truth of some sort. This is definitely the truth and it is it is. I mean, that is definitely 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 the truth. This is the end of things. It's the end of a conflict. It's the end of a battle. The war is over. Whatever this war is, um The end of things, the end, the end. I mean, definitely something is coming to an end with the judgment card. This is it, it's final, it's finally over. So something is finally over. Yes, you win or yes, the answer is yes. Making a life-changing decision. There's also an awakening here with the Ace of Swords and the Judgment card. Those are both awakenings, it's a wake-up call. So we do have a wake-up call. Somebody's about to get a wake-up call or they're going through a spiritual awakening. This is, this is a wake-up call. High Priestess. 
Somebody has been observing and they have been reflecting. They know something. They, they know. They know the truth. They know the truth. Somebody knows the truth. They probably have been keeping it to themselves because they needed to observe. They needed to watch. They needed to... Obviously, they were dealing with something that they were, they had to get themselves out of. They had, they had to finish something with that Six of Wands. There was something that, that was causing them some sort of tension in their life, and it wasn't over yet. But this is like a warrior that is all done. I mean, this is like, I'm out. It's over. So it's over. The war is over. The battle is over. The competition is over. The decision is made. Somebody has come, they've either gotten an epiphany, you know, they, maybe they got an epiphany or they got some sort of information or they just know the truth, you know, they know the truth because the high priestess is an, an, an energy of knowing, of inner knowing. Somebody may also be dealing with a healer or somebody that is very, very spiritual. I mean, the high priestess is, you know, somebody that may teach spirituality or is uh, highly intuitive, could be a psychic, a medium, a tarot reader, an empath. Some that something is about to be revealed. Somebody's been hiding something in the, or they haven't been communicating or they've been fighting something. I don't know. There's definitely some sort of news that is coming. I don't know what they are doing out there. But they're doing something. Anyhow, going within, contemplating making a decision somebody has been struggling they have because that five of wands that come that's a power struggle somebody has been struggling maybe they were struggling with i don't know maybe this was a player because the five of wands is the is a game Knight of Wands reversed. Maybe a player. We may have a player here. A judgment is being made. We have somebody here that is going to be held accountable. They're ready to be held accountable. Maybe they're ready to stop playing games. They're, they're ready. Judgment is ready. Ready to be judged. Ready to be held accountable. Ready to stop. There's been reckless behavior. Maybe whoever they, they're dealing with knows. This is, I mean, the high priestess knows things. Very intuitive. And I think that we have somebody here, this, this warrior or hero, whoever this person is, this person is coming in. They, they have some sort of news or truth or something. They're going to be saying something. They're, they're coming in. They're coming in with some sort of, they're taking control. They're taking the power. They're taking it. They're taking it. They're ready to take a new approach. Somebody's about to take a new approach. They're about to take a new approach. Maybe they were scared. Maybe they were scared. Scared to, maybe they were scared they weren't, wouldn't be accepted. But they will be accepted because judgment is a card of acceptance. I do believe we have somebody here that has that uh, has gone through a spiritual awakening. I gotta turn that camera a little bit because there's a spiritual awakening here: Ace of Swords, Judgment, and the High Priestess. This is definitely a spiritual awakening. Ready, ready. Definitely ready, ready. Somebody is ready. They're ready. They're ready to have success because the six of wands leads to success. So that's success, right? This is somebody who's all done playing games, all done fighting, all done with the competition. And they're headed towards success. That's what the six of wands is. By taking the power and 
accepting the truth, it brings success. So somebody's going to be doing something suddenly. It is sudden with the Knight of Wands. It is sudden. Oh, I just got a little pit right in my stomach. The tower reversed, and the tower reversed is very sudden, extremely sudden. Very, 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 very fast. You never saw it coming. You never, ever, 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 ever saw it coming. It's, it's moving. I wonder if somebody's moving. They're moving very sudden. It could be a sudden, sudden, uh, move somebody may be suddenly moving out of a of a place that you know they thought it was safe but it's not safe somebody is i feel like there's a sudden there's sudden moving here suddenly moving there could be some truth that comes out that forces somebody to move and no the tower reverse is not avoided it's been avoided up until now this is a major change that cannot be avoided can't be it can't be it's not gonna be it's not it's not avoidable this is a major and remember we had the tower yesterday this is dealing with it this is like a disruption that there's no other way I have to I have to I have to go someplace else I have to that's what I'm feeling it's like I have to I have to it's the truth it's the truth I know I know this is the truth I know and it could be I know this is the one I know this is the one. We got the High Priestess next to the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is one, and the High Priestess is I know. I know this is the one. I know. I know this will lead me to success. I know. I feel like we have an individual that is going to be brave. They're brave. They're courageous. They're doing something brave. Very brave. Mm. Two of Cups reversed over by that. Six of Wands reversed and the Four of Pentacles reversed. Six of Wands upright, Two of Cups reversed, Four of Pentacles reversed. Somebody is letting go of a partnership that is unstable. Four of Pentacles reversed is letting go. Two of Cups is a partnership. It's reversed. It's unstable. It's not compatible. There's no unity. There's no equality. They've been fighting it. They've been, they've been uh, because of the Six of Wands, somebody has, has made a decision to depart a partnership that uh, is not really secure. It's not a secure foundation. There's and I, there could definitely be a fight in that foundation, or there's been a lot of fighting, but I think the fighting is over. It's like this war is over. There's no unity here. There's no partnership here. There's no love here. You know, this, this I'm letting it go. Somebody is letting go of a partnership that they are not compatible with. It's not a good match. They've fought it long enough. They've played with it long enough. It's like this ain't even fun anymore. This is definitely, definitely, definitely letting go. Letting go of a partnership that is not stable, right? It's not stable. It's not secure. It's time to relax. I do believe that we have somebody here that just wants peace, right? They want peace. They don't, they don't want to play these games anymore with an individual that they have. I don't know if they've been, it feels like they may have been living with this person or something like that. We definitely have two people that are not on the same page. They aren't. The two of Cups reversed. That's, that's like, like a partnership that is definitely not compatible. It's not compatible. There's, And maybe it was safe. Maybe it was safe because it was secure. It was, obviously it was. It was safe and secure maybe for financial reasons. But, you know, judgment is a card of release. And the Four of Pentacles is a card of release. And the Tower is a card of release. I mean, the Tower is extreme. Okay? This is extreme... Uh, dismantling of a false sense of security it's a painful choice as well i feel like this is a painful departure but if there's no success and there's been a lot of games then the best then you have to honor the truth somebody's going to be honoring the truth it's like i know i know i gotta go i know i gotta go i gotta go i gotta go i gotta go so somebody's going somewhere suddenly extremely fast very very fast 
This is somebody that is making a judgment call based on the facts, based on the truth, and their intuition. They know that they have to. They know that they have to release what they've been holding on to to have the peace and the happiness and the success that they have been searching for. And this brave individual is definitely looking at the one. The Six of Wands is looking at the Ace of Swords. This is somebody that is, you know, very noble. This is somebody that is noble. This is somebody that likes to do the right thing, that tries to do the right thing. This person's looking at the one, looking right at the one. It's like, he is. So this person is looking at the one. And this person is separating. I feel like we have a breakup here from somebody that they're not compatible with. Letting go with the four of sort, four of pentacles reversed. That is totally letting go. It, I mean, it is upright. It's holding on tight to something that is safe and secure. This is letting go underneath the two of cups. Somebody's letting go. Is it? And maybe they just wake up and they, or they get this epiphany that you know I got, I got to, I have to, I have to. Or it's going to be a permanent loss. If I don't act now, I'm going to have a permanent loss. And maybe this person is trying, really trying to avoid a permanent loss from the one. You know, if you don't act now, you're going to lose it. Because there's a permanent loss here if you don't act now. Because the Knight, of, the Knight of Wands is about act now, think later. Then we have the Tower, which is a permanent loss. You know, the time is now because... It can't be avoided. If you don't act now, it's going to be a permanent loss. You can't avoid it. And somebody has been trying to avoid it. You can't. And it's interesting that I said that at the beginning. You can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. You can't avoid your feelings. You can't, and there's deep feelings here. There's a deep knowing. There's a deep knowing that, you know, action is needed. I feel like there's going to be a sudden departure here that, and I also feel like there's a sudden arrival. So it could go, something extremely sudden is going to happen, which we've been talking about lately. Almost, I feel like something in my stomach. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't even know what I had to eat today. Oh yeah, I did have something to eat today. Hangman reversed. Hangman reversed. So somebody has really been struggling with letting go. Refusing, refusing to let go, obsessed with control, missing an opportunity. And they are missing an opportunity. Somebody is going to miss an opportunity if they don't take action right now. I feel like this person knows it. They know that they have to take action right now. It's all, it's time to stop playing games. It's like they've waited long enough. You can't, you can't wait anymore. It's time to get up. You can't wait. There's no time left to wait. The time's up. Games, you know, no more game. Time's up. This person knows it. Knows it. They got to take action right now. Judgment. Judgment is the truth. It's acceptance. It's release. It's also renewal. Forgiveness. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. They may be asking for a chance. They want a chance. They want to, they, they're taking a chance. They will be accepted. I feel like there is acceptance here with that judgment card. That is acceptance, being accepted. We have somebody here just accepting the truth. They're just in their letting go. Somebody is letting go of something. It's a false sense of security that they have been holding on to. And I feel like they're all done playing games. They know that they have to let go. They know that they have to let go to have the success. So, yeah. I got a fist. So I don't know what's going on with the fist. Um, there could be a fight with the tower card. And it could be a big one. That's it could be a big one. Six of cups reversed. 
Nothing stays the same. Freedom from obligation, letting go of the past, taking a new opportunity. This is a long-term, uh, permanent opportunity, permanent uh, success. This can lead to abundance. It's a new investment, something solid, something stable, something real. It's something you can take to the bank. This is permanent. So somebody is taking another opportunity and they're, they're breaking free from something that they have been hanging on to because of fear. Definitely because of fear. Because of fear of confrontation, because of fear of the uproar, because of fear of moving, you know, be, be worried about maybe what their children would say as well. That may have kept them back, The you know, the... But I do feel like there's going to be something that happens. I feel like it's 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 big. I think it's huge. The hangman reversed. Somebody has been waiting. They've been sacrificing themselves for quite some time for a false sense of security. Where there's really it's really not bringing them any type of success. And they want success. This is somebody who wants success. I mean, they want the abundance. They do. They don't want to play these games anymore. So that's why they're making this life-changing decision. It's like a judgment is being made. A judgment is being made. A big one. A very, very, very big one. And it's intuition is big here. Intuition Somebody may be packing up and leaving home with the Six of Cups reversed next to the Tower reversed. I mean, that's that's like leaving the past behind. <laughs> oh, my, I went to the gym and my, even this hurts. Everything hurts. Anyhow, um... Devil reverse, definitely breaking free. Somebody is severing ties from something they have been hung up on. They have. It's like they get this epiphany. They get this realization. It's like they, they see the truth that they, they got to go. They got This is toxic. It's unhealthy. It's devil energy. It's, a, it's some sort of obsession. It's letting go of an obsession. It's letting go of something. Somebody is, and maybe somebody was holding on for financial reasons or they were holding on to an obsession. Obsessed over a partnership that is not compatible. Anyhow, the devil reversed is breaking free. That is breaking free from, and maybe we have somebody here that was codependent. You know, that's why they were hanging on. Maybe they were they were too afraid to break free. They definitely fear with the Knight of Wands reversed, but the Devil reversed is uh, taking back control. Definitely we got somebody here that is taking back control. They're taking control. They're taking it in their own hands. That's what we got. Mm-hmm. All done. All done. All done. All done playing games. All done. All done. All done. All done waiting. Nothing stays the same. Major disruption. Somebody is feeling in their gut. I feel like they're feeling like they can't wait any longer. You know, I can't. I gotta. I gotta. I have to. It's over. It's over. It's over. Hmm. Oh. Nine of Wands and Temperance. Nine of Wands is...
one more chance, giving something a chance, putting in effort. Somebody has come so far. They've come so far that they're not ready to give up. They're not ready to just throw in the towel. And I wouldn't say that it's it's with this partner that they're separating from. It's like, I feel like we have somebody here that was waiting for one more chance with that person, but they're not ready to give up on their... This has to do... I'm not saying this right. It has to do with evolution. It has to do with, with accepting that... Because temperance comes after death. So there's been an ending. And we have somebody here that has been... Uh, struggling they have been struggling and they have come so far with their life this is not how the story ends this is not how the story ends this is not how the story ends I'm not I'm not going to give up I'm not gonna give up on my success and that's what I feel like this is because the next card is the Ten of Wands, which is the success that comes through hard work somebody has been overwhelmed trying to uh, make a partnership work that isn't working and I feel like they're not ready to uh, I feel like they're ready to accept that that is over with the temperance card because that's a card of acceptance and going with the flow but they're not ready to let the let their story end in the story that they've been in you know what I'm saying that's it's I know it's very hard to explain um, this is a wounded warrior we have it up in the six of wands as well we definitely have somebody here that is wounded. They've been hurt. They've been hurt. And maybe maybe that's that's why they've they've been insecure. They've been insecure and stayed in this codependent partnership because they were so hurt. You know, maybe they were hurt in previous battles and that's why they stayed. They stayed in and you know, that's what it is. I mean, that's what causes us to stay when we don't know our value, we don't know our worth. We stay in codependent situations because it's something to have, it's something to hold, you know, because it's just it's better than being alone, right? This is this is a very soul energy you know s-o-u-l like soul one one it's like a independent energy so i feel like we have somebody here that was staying in a situation because it was safe it was very 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 safe and but i feel like they're ready some de temperance is a card of change it's like accepting change accepting that you know i don't want my story to end like this i don't i don't want I don't want it to end like this when I have a golden opportunity right in front of me for security because that's what the Ace of Pentacles is. That's a gift, okay? That's a that's something that can grow into permanent, solid, stable, long-term success with hard work. And we do have somebody here that has a history a leadership has a has a leadership uh, has leadership skills. This is somebody that is a leader that that has the capability to be successful. But I feel like they've been struggling with change with that hangman card. They've been struggling a lot to take action because of I don't know fear of not being accepted or fear of being alone or yeah fear of being alone is a big deal and. Um, Maybe they were even masking their pain with addictions of some sort. And addictions can be, I mean, food is an addiction, alcohol is an addiction, drugs are addiction, sex is an addiction. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is ready to face a challenge and they're ready to evolve. And uh, it feels like change the narrative, you know. looking at accepting that something is over and I do believe that we have somebody here that is going to be removing themselves from a false sense of security that they were holding on to for a long time long time but there's no attraction there there's not even any love here it's toxic and there's a golden opportunity right here you know it is it's right here breaking free there is freedom here it's freedom packing up leaving nothing stays the same all done
So we have a high priestess here who is probably going to be receiving a message. Ace of Swords is a message, it really is. Somebody has decided to open up, open up, something about opening up. Maybe it's the high priestess. Somebody is opening up. Somebody's gut is telling them to open up, relax, let go, stop fighting change, stop fighting change, accept the truth, accept the truth, take a new approach. Let go of what you've been holding on to. Stop wasting time. This is, somebody is looking right at the one, right? I mean, I don't want to keep saying it, but it's the truth. It's the truth. That partnership that didn't work out, woke you up woke you up it increased your spirituality it gave you a spiritual awakening that's why you got into it now it's time temperance now it's time now it's time to evolve and accept and learn the 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 the, the temperance and the hey is about learning some sort of lesson the lesson that was learned was about who you are It helped you to wake up spiritually. It made you more aware of your own inner gifts. It made you aware of your strength and your perseverance. Now you're strong enough to go on. Now you're stronger than you were before. Let go of the past. Break free from that obsession. And you will receive an abundant opportunity. Because that's what the Ace of Pentacles is. But you must take action. Because we have somebody here that is a warrior. This person is a winner, right? This person's going to win. This person's going to win. If you don't take action, you're going to lose. If you don't take action, you're going to lose a partnership that you could be holding on to for some sort of obsession that you have been wasting time with. All right. It's time to go. Good luck.